Welcome back, everybody. IGN Live, San Diego Comic Con. I'm Damon. This is Greg. Greg, you may not have heard of it, but there's a, a, a PlayStation game series called Resistance. Resistance. I believe my roommate likes it a lot. Yeah. Has to deal with an alien invasion, uh -huh. humans fighting back against yeah. them. If Resistance were a TV show, it might be something like Falling Skies. Yes. The TV show. An excellent TV yeah. show. Uh, here to talk to us about Falling Skies Whoa. right now. <laughs> wow. How, how awkward you guys walked in when we were talking about your show. Noah Wilman. Crazy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. How, how are you? Are you is yeah, the really con good. treating you well? So far, so good. The con is good. They're nice to you out there? That's they, good. They treat us well, yes. We're not going to be nice to you in here. <laughs> okay, give it. Just serious. Good. Go ahead. Catch us up with Falling Skies. The third season is airing now. Third season's yeah. airing now. Episode. They've greenlit fourth, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just awesome. got Congratulations. Thank Thank you. You. So it's already lasted longer than Resistance. So that's good. <laughs> 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 that's true. Uh, yeah, this is our best season yet, I think. Thanks. Um, yeah. Why is that? Just, I think we finally figured out what makes the show work. And, aliens. Uh, aliens yep. work. Just aliens Family on works. <laughs> fucking children works. <laughs> bad guys works. Uh, shooting at night, shooting in the rain works. We've got more toys. Yeah. yeah. We've got alien allies we now. Yeah. yeah. So, Moon, for you, mm. what about Falling Skies makes it work? I mean, what, what brings you to the project and makes you want to come in every, you know, I guess, day to work on it? Because it's not, I guess it's not a science fiction show that is that is flat. It has a lot of layers to it. And yeah. it's, it feels like more like a family show with the science fiction element to it. I mean, even though we've kind of, you know, upped the, the ante a little bit. So, Just a bit, But yeah, yeah <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's fun, but it doesn't take itself too seriously, I don't think. What I've always wondered, when, when you're on TV, when do you watch the show? Do you watch it when it airs? Do you get to see it beforehand? I oh. watch... Uh, I'm, I'm a producer on the show, so I get You're dailies. I watch a lot of the dailies, and then I do. I watch rough cuts of the episodes when they first get assembled, and then I tend not to watch until it goes on the air. Even yeah. though we have finished DVDs that are you know ready to go earlier. <laughs> Buying like, in stores right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah. look it. That's our. That's, that's, that's our show. There it is. Uh, look, it's happening. Coming yeah. up. This. Uh, that's our trailer for. That's actually a good. That's, that was a good promo they cut for that. That is a good promo. <laughs> um, oh, now the producer caps back on. Yeah, exactly. so, he's the uh, only uh, one who can't get killed because he's a producer. I'm the <laughs> best like job to do the ball for best. <laughs> hey, Will, is this show fun to shoot? Yeah, it is. I mean, I like I like you know high stakes and physicality. You know, mm. you get to get to get you know physical, which you can't do with a lot of films. You know, a lot of action, a lot of. I mean it. I think what we keep saying is that it's a lot of heart and soul meeting very extreme circumstances, you know, and that's, that's an interesting dynamic and uh, fun to play. So he did a serious question. I was like, it's, it's post-apocalyptic. Yeah, I know, I can tell you want that. And I, I Do you, but, are but, your yeah, clothes yeah. smelly? Like when you, there are the many days where yeah. I sort of think a Why nice cozy this? courtroom drama <laughs> sounds good <laughs> right now. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing a flashy three-piece suit and dressing a jury <laughs> sounds good right Yeah, yeah, this ain't, this ain't procedural. No, no. Yeah. You guys no, do get like, no dirty fingernails too, don't you? No, we, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> they go to dinner and they got dirty. I don't think I've done a part in years where I didn't have to have dirt rubbed into me when I went into the trailer in the morning. He loves it. Yeah. Yeah. Now one. it's just part of his day, daily day, yeah. Yeah. day routine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's great. <laughs> You're talking about you know family and th that being the core of this and coming back to that. When you started the show, when you, when you guys got going with Falling Skies, I mean, was that like something from the very beginning you knew you had to do? You didn't want to just be a, a monster show on TV that we're going to shoot aliens. That comes straight from the top. That's Mr. Spielberg's yep. sensibilities. Mm -hmm. He wanted this to be a family drama set in the context of an alien invasion show and to do something that really hadn't been done in television before, which is to walk that very fine line between it being a drama or family drama or a uh, uh, genre show. Hmm. We were talking before we started filming, you were mentioning how you know, it's an alien invasion show, but a lot of the things that the characters are going through t seem to mirror what people are, are going through today. Yeah, no, we were laughing at the headline of today's paper, and although it's not funny, is that Detroit's gone bankrupt. And when you see some of the shots of what Detroit looks like these days, it doesn't look too dissimilar That's from true. the world that we've created. And you know, people are out of their homes, away from their families, having to define themselves differently than they ever have before. And our show seems a lot less fantastical than ever before as a is that, result. Is that coincidence or the writers? Purely coincidental, in? yeah. I think you know, it's a sad sign of the times. So. I'm having fun watching this. Moon, right you got to focus over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> I will turn off that really TV, young lady. I was like, wow, that was a I'll good shot. I'll turn off your confidence monitor. You will not know <laughs> what we're showing. It's good. It looks good. It does. No, the show looks that. really good. And, I mean, a really good show, Moon. You should. It's, I should watch <laughs> it. I have it on my GDR. I have it on my GDR. I watched a little bit of it. A little bit. A little bit of it. Is it the best time to be an actor? 
no, right now, that you can do shows like this on TV, have them look this good, and that there can be such a wide breadth? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think everybody talks about various periods of television being the golden age. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I felt very much like I was part of one in the 90s with doing ER, but I think in a lot of ways, this is the time. When I look at the quality of the shows that are on TV now, whether it's on Netflix, whether it's on basic cable or paid cable or network, it, it, it's just a everything's been stepped up and maybe it's because there's been such a brain drain from the movies because they're making fewer movies and they're doing more tentpole movies so there's a lot of creative talent out there that is migrating towards television but I, I can't really think of a time where and I can name off the time I had 10 shows that are easily could compete for the best show on television right. Nashville right. Falling Skies <laughs> Nashville uh, Falling Skies Mean Girls Nashville. Mean Girls <laughs> Mean Girls Nashville. Nashville's really good everybody. he will not <laughs> shut up about Nashville so <laughs> similar to yeah, yes, really. well, no, that, there's Breaking like, Bad Mad Men right. uh, Orange is the New Black I'm kind of hooked yes. on right now oh my God. Really right. Right. Oh, that. Girls is a great show oh, Newsroom great show. Newsroom is a great show uh, TV is a place to be I feel like oh, right yeah. now yeah. now saying that Moon yes. what do you think the future of TV is. Put on, put on your, your thinking cap and we're going to the future. We're jumping ahead. <laughs> Every, you, we start talking about on demand and a la carte. And what if HBO Go wasn't attached to a cable company anymore? Do you, do you see that there, is there always going to be a place for a cable provider that's coming out and doing this? Or are we going to get to a place where TNT is just producing original dramas and putting them out on Apple TV or whatever you know, cloud-based service there is? That is a big question for I know. my small brain. You can take it for the next 20 minutes. It just feels like with television right now, there's so many channels. There's so, much, there's so many good people working in TV. And I feel like the future of it is just, just there's just going to be more content. Yeah. And I, I think with movies, it's just so much harder to make a movie. So everyone wants to. And TV, so, it's so easy because there's a beginning, middle, and end, and it's so much quicker than I think doing a movie. So I feel like, I don't know, I mean, I'm not, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future of TV, but it seems like it gets broader. For sure. We are getting a couple questions in here from Twitter. Remember, viewers, you can be part of the show. Tweet us at IGN, hashtag SDCC. Is that right? Just like Chris Moore did. You can tweet us anytime. Yeah. Yeah, man. We don't know, we don't know how to tweet. <laughs> I mean, I ain't no tweeter. Chris Moore asks, will we ever get a backstory for Pope in a flashback episode? Uh, we, we have made one. a creative decision to not go and do flashback episodes. Mm -hmm. That's sort of the easiest to go to when you run out of storyline, is let's go back and see what their lives were like before. Next is voiceover. Um, <laughs> next is voiceover, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you do get a sense of his backstory. You know, he monologued pretty good a couple weeks ago about how he ended up That's right. in prison. I thought that was good stuff, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty strong. Yeah, told, and actually, this Sunday's show, we yeah. do play with our timeline a little bit. Mm. I'm not going to say how or why, mm. but the narrative structure gets fractured. For, for your the first sake, time. it better not be a flashback because it's it's tech. It's, it will it's be moon thrown near into the bus. You will <laughs> <say> <laughs> it's not Is that because it's not accurate? It's not a flashback. Mm. It's a flash. It's a, sounds like flash a, nerd, <laughs> a nerd argument here. It's it's a nerd argument. Yeah. No better place than Comic Con. I know. Yeah. What's it like for you guys to walk around Comic Con now? The show's established. It's a hit. Mm. Everybody likes it. Third season, fourth season coming. I feel good. Like now that we're going into our fourth season, I feel like we're all a little more relaxed. Yeah. Like, okay, we've been on the show for a while. Not that we don't have anything to prove, but you feel a little bit more settled in it because it's just more time has gone by. I feel like there were a lot of no, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> the, the audience reaction when we first started was really kind of lukewarm, suspicious, and lukewarm. Yeah. Sure. And I think we've we've earned their trust to a certain extent at this point. So the pressure's off. Like. We're established. Yeah, but then come like two months from now, the yeah, pressure's well, we don't back have anything on written, and we got to figure out how to write this. He's gonna be oh, pacing yeah. up and down, yeah. like. Oh. Yeah, well, I think I mean you talked about it earlier, right? That's what you nailed it by having a heart to this and having a thread that you're sticking to, right? Because when you, people are suspicious because they've seen so many shows come out that are just like, ah, aliens and monsters. It all starts with the quality of the characters, and I think that we've been able to establish in Anne Glass and Colonel Weaver and then Tom Mason. Real people who now you have a sense of who they are and, and what they're about. And as long as you can let those characters drive the narrative as opposed to plugging the characters into a narrative, um, we're OK. Because these two are really careful about always making sure that every from every point of view, it always comes from, like like you, got, you said, the heart and soul. And it's not about the toys. It's not about just, you know, kind of getting exciting and all the sex and rock and roll of sci-fi, that it's always yeah. from a point of view of a human perspective. Mm -hmm. Because you can kind of forget that when you do science fiction. Sure. You can kind of get and caught up. And in TV, they yeah. oftentimes are, well, we'll give that line to Pope. We'll give that line to Weaver. And yeah. it's, I've always 
thought that characters should speak in their own voice. Pope should always be Pope. Weaver should always yeah, be Weaver. Yeah. Tom should always be Tom. And as long as you're consistent to that, I think the storyline's usually uh, pretty good. We have another question here from Twitter. This is from Jax. How did Pope come to own the bar in Charleston? Good question. Yeah, he's got, he's got Pope Town. Yeah, Pope Town. Pope Town. Pope Town. How did that he was get after Pope Town? I, that Why was after I, I was no Town? longer in complete charge. I but. just hope we can answer a lot more questions about Pope today. Who is the most popular character? We speak, on, character. Coming, we speak on Pope's behalf uh, all the time. What's your favorite Pope moment? Pope is Pope. Pope is Pope. Pope is Pope. Pope, yeah, man. Uh, you know, most of what? the city of Charleston is below ground, <laughs> subterranean. His berserker guys uh, tend to live on the edge, so they went uptown, and it's only a logical extension of who they are that they would corner the market on Sin City. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah it was a. That it was, is a good way of putting it. it corner a, the market. Yeah, on it was Sin a City. difficult uh, thing to allow ha to happen. The we had, we had, yeah. yeah. It was well, like you've, you've played a lot of roles. When you walk around nowadays, are you getting recognized most for Falling Skies? Uh, no, not necessarily. You what are they know, throwing at you? Um, it's something different every time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Keeping me on my toes, I like yeah. that. Yeah. That's, that's well, well. When you come here, it's like, could be the pusher, could be Armageddon. Pusher, Armageddon, could, yeah. No way be, out. Uh, Mothman prophecies. And, mm -hmm. See, oh, yeah. I was going to say Armageddon, kind. I'm being told off set they were going to say Armageddon. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Armageddon. Well, See, that's Armageddon's safe. an easy What's that? Yeah. Armageddon? Yeah, Armageddon. Yeah. 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 What did Lily Taylor say when you asked her questions like that? Uh, she asked for my phone number. I did. She, she wanted to go see the. She wanted. She, she really she wanted, wanted us to go, go see the Conjuring with her. She wanted us to pull off night. our IGN party last night and go see the Conjuring at midnight. And I was like, I really yeah. want Is that to. Right? I, I like legally have to be at this. Really? Party. Yeah. Was she just in here? Was yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's in here. She was great. She is better? Great. You're saying? No, you guys no, are no, much you better. Guys yeah. are great. Yeah. 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 I was fishing, but thank you. Yeah, that was good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for Very joining good. us today. Very thank good. you, guys. Falling Skies, third season airing now, fourth season on the way. Yeah. Yay. Enjoy the rest of the con. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. It's a group of people. Yeah, they're, they're, they're just a delight. Oh, really? You, nice people. you like that better than you I think like we have uh, uh, Lily? Yes, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> they were at Falling Skies. Totally is. better. Yeah. Than better than Lily. That's what I like. We have to take a quick break. We'll be back after these messages. I know Lily is a very sensitive person. Yes, sir.